Hello, it's the designer of LegendaryViews.com, and today we're going to be doing a Cyberlink PowerDirector 10 tutorial, and today we're going to be focusing on audio and watermarks. I'm going to start with the audio. Now, first, uh, in my last video, someone asked me, how do you get the, the you know, if you have a bunch of photos in, in, your, in PowerDirector, how do you get the audio to match um, the photos exactly how you want them to? And I'm just gonna show you guys that, and it, it's a very, very simple thing to do. Um, here, I got a song, just you know, just for testing. I'm gonna put that there, and I'm just gonna select a few images. And I'm gonna put them down here. And um, pretty much what you do is. Um, you could do this, you can make it, you could stretch it out a lot more so you can see the waves in the audio a little bit better. And what you do is, w by looking at the waves um, in the audio, it'll pretty much tell you uh, at what point of the song it is. And if you want it to be at an exact certain spot, um, all you have to do is zoom out and find the exact wave that you want it to match with. So let's say I want this photo to match with that wave right there. All I do is that. If I want to go into more detail, and let's say I missed it a little bit, and I want to get that that wave right there, which I guess it's not letting me do, um, that's what you do. You just use this thing right here, which is the same thing as this. Let's you zoom in and out. That's pretty much all I can say. That's pretty much all you can do to get the audio to match up with photos. Um, now, I'm going to start with watermarks. I did this in the Cyberlink 9 tutorial, but I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to do this again, and I'm going to do it a little bit different than I did last time, because after this video, I'm going to do another tutorial, and in that tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make the watermark. Now, in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to apply the watermark to your project. All right, now you click on the little tab right here, PIP Object, object Room. And right now, you click on this, create a new PIP, picture in picture. You select the image you want to use as a watermark, and this is our watermark. Give it a second, and you are going to want to place it wherever you want to place it. Usually, I, I place it here. Um, you know, you can place it anywhere. But I'm going to place it right there, like I normally do. Click on this little tab over here. And you make it transparent. I usually go 50% transparent. Oh, it looks like I clicked on the wrong one. It's over here. It's this one. 50% transparency. You click save. You name it. And there you go. You got a watermark. You just take it. You drag it all the way down here. And... You gotta watermark your entire video. Now what you wanna do is um you do this just to make it so it selects, you know, all parts of the video. And uh there's the watermark. Well, that's basically about it. Don't forget to go to legendaryviews.com for game reviews, product reviews, software reviews, downloads, and much, much more. And don't forget to check out legendaryviews.com on Facebook and Twitter. That's about it, and I'll see you guys in my next Cyberlink PowerDirector 10 tutorial series.